So let's start by installing the data tables uh, layout. So we can do that by hovering over Gravity Kit and clicking on products and licenses. So that takes us to this screen over here. And from here, we can manage our licenses and install, activate and update Gravity Kit plugins. So let's click on the not install tab here and scroll down to data tables and we'll click install now. So when that's uh, finished installing, the plugin will be automatically activated. Okay, great. So data tables has been installed and it's activated on our site. So now we can go ahead and create a new view using the data tables layout. So to do that, we'll hover over views and click new view. And we'll give our view a name. In this case, I'm going to create a table of documents. And I'll choose a data source. This will be my document upload form. Now we can choose a layout type. And as you can see, data tables is available to select. So we'll select that data tables table. And here we are in the view editor. So here's the multiple entries uh, screen. And we can just add fields here like we would um, in the regular table layout. So each field will um, appear as a column in our table. So let's add a few fields here. Okay, great. So when you've added all your fields and widgets, make sure to scroll down here to the view settings. And here you'll see a tab on the left called data tables. So if you click on that, here are all of the data table settings. So first up is the ability to enable buttons. So by enabling that, you can choose which buttons you want to have visible at the top of your table. So copy will copy all the content. CSV that will export your data tables entries to a CSV file. Excel that again exports your table entries to an Excel file. PDF exports to PDF and print um, enables you to print uh, your information. And then column visibility, this is really handy. If your table has a lot of columns, um, clicking that button will actually allow you to um, turn certain columns on and off so that they're either visible or not. And then if we scroll down, we have the ability to enable scroller here. Enabling scroller allows um, large data sets to be shown on screen in one continuous page. So fix header, here you can see that a fix header will float the headers above your table even when you scroll down. Fix columns, that will keep the first column in place if you're scrolling uh, horizontally. And then you have the ability to make your table responsive. Um, by enabling this option. And then finally, this option auto update. Um, enabling this, as you can see, another option appears here with a um, ability to set a timer in minutes. So basically, um, enabling auto update will ensure that your table updates or refreshes its content. And you can set a schedule for when that happens. So for example, the default is five minutes which means that every five minutes your table will automatically refresh to update its content. So if you're looking for like a live updating table functionality, then you're going to want to enable um, auto update. Okay, so when you finish configuring the settings, scroll back up and update your view. And let's uh, check it out on the front end here. So as you can see, we've got our table here. Here are our buttons to copy, uh, export to CSV or print. Um, and if we click on this columns button, you'll see we can actually hide certain columns. This is really helpful for filtering your data, especially if you have a lot of columns. And we can also click on the column headings to sort the table by that field. So for example, if I click on the category field, as you can see, it groups everything um, starting with finance, then legal, then marketing, and then technical.